weather today in March in Trondheim. Hey, welcome to Irene Bisaso Home Network. And if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. Uh, this is Irene, and we talk about different things in Norway. I'm going to talk about uh, electricity, how to save on electricity. My friend called me, uh, we live in Norway and the winters are too long and it's so cold. Now it's March and it is still snowing. So a friend called me and it has been in, actually in the newspaper. A friend called me and said, Irene, I got a bill time three, what I normally pay in the winter, what's going on? But it was, uh, we were told uh, that it would be a very expensive season anyway. So I told her, no, mine, it has not even been twice that what I normally pay. It has, of course, increased, but not twice. And here are my electricity saving hacks or how you can save electricity. And for me, coming from Uganda, where I grew up in the village, my lifestyle was very different. So some of the things come very natural to me on how to save electricity. Uh, first of all, like things like switch off the lights you are not using in those rooms. You have a house, many rooms, and you leave them on. Even in the toilet, in the bathroom, everywhere. Switch off the lights you are not using. As simple as that. Now, you, you will also find that um, you can turn out the temperature on the heaters. Uh, the heaters we have in Norway, some are mine, you find that maybe they go to up to 35, you don't, or 45. You don't have to put on the heater up to 45. You can put on maybe 20, depending on how cold it is, then putting on the maximum. So tip number two, turn down the temperature. And then another thing, the laundry machine. This one I had to, <laughs> I had to teach to my husband because you could put in some few clothes in the machine and then put it on. It is using electricity. It is using the, the laundry detergent. So make the machine full enough and on that don't, don't overstock it, but make it full so that you use the same electricity, whether you put in two pieces of clothes or whether you put in 10. So make sure you, you make it full and, um, also unplug everything that are not in use uh some of the things you have to really unplug them because i believe i'm not a, a, a scientist here and but i believe even though it is in the socket that it there's that may be uh what what can i call it like um passive electricity being used so some of the things you have to unplug them if you don't use them and then um, you ask yourself how many refrigerators you have. Are they full? For example, for us, we have three. And then you have to find out because you may find that each one has half, half, half. Maybe you can use two instead of using all the three and they are all not uh, full. Another thing that we normally use that, for example, in our, when we are in the living room and uh, our living room is quite big enough, we are a family of four we close the door between the bedrooms because most of the time the living room is warm but the bedrooms uh, three bedrooms uh, and the one which is near here four bedrooms they are they are far so if you're gonna warm the entire house even the rooms you are not using so maybe you have to close the door that the door close. Uh, another thing i wrote in my book that look at your electricity bill and see if they are increasing or, or, or that. You have to look at them because some these days, in, for example, you know everything, it's autom uh, 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 automatically, the bills come, you get salary, just, you know, pay off. You don't even follow. You, you may, some may not even recognize that it is tripling because if it's tripling, you can do something about it. And another thing you have to check your Ponoshik um, Dehete level under the company you are using because like all other subscriptions, telephone subscriptions, you may find there are offers, you may find you have to change because maybe that one is getting expensive. Uh, another thing that I, I try to teach my family on Saturdays and that, me I grew up where we used the light, the sun is for free. 
and I grew up in Uganda in my village. Um, we never put on light during there. We opened the windows and we were outside all the time and that light was coming. But you find people, it's there and then they put the curtains around and then they put on the lights. Hello? You are not thinking about the environment. You are not thinking about the money and that pisses me off. So open those curtains and get in the sunlight like this video i'm making it i don't have any light here i just opened my my windows so use all day use sunlight instead of uh, putting on the curtains and then you, you use electricity then maybe smart house that one's expensive i have a friend she has a smart house and even uh, the most of the hospitals and those public things they have this smart technology you enter in the bathroom it switches itself on and switches itself off then in that way you don't have to to be shouting telling people switch off the lights you are not using i had to teach my boys and now they are really good because <laughs> i have tips for you if you have kids how you can teach them you teach them first of all that that money will be saved to do something you all want maybe swimming going to the cinema a holiday another thing <laughs> this is a little bit funny but i told my son that if we use up the electricity i was trying to he was five and i was trying to teach him the environment aspect so i told him if we use all the electricity you guys when you grow up the environment is so bad that you cannot produce electricity and you will live in dark so we save what we don't need today we we use it properly so that we save for you and you and my grandchildren and all that and he understood it. Now he's the one telling the dad, Dad, why is this light on in this room when it's not in use? And the dad has to learn from that. And I know for him it's a little bit difficult because he's coming from a different culture and how to use maybe electricity. And me, I come from where uh, you don't waste things. And you, ha you use things because you must use them anyway. And another thing is that bathing is great. But using hot water for how long? I use hot water, but I love. And actually, uh, uh, if you have a bathtub, maybe the, the better because you can put hot water and just relax there. In the winters, I love long. That one, I, I'm also fighting it. <laughs> but uh, it's another thing you can do. Don't be there an hour. An hour of electricity, you, you, you just know how big your bill is going to be i don't know how often you bathe but you should but make sure it doesn't take long uh, hours there and i said check your company and compare it with other uh in then find out what you are using because if you use these old uh, bulbs you have to use uh, energy saving bulbs that one will help you a lot uh, you have to change them maybe 30 to 40 and even how many lights do you really need in a room in a living room uh, so you have to, to 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 do that and then maybe you have to buy some new machines because some old machines like in the house we live in it's an old house it was built in 1970s but it's renovated but some of the things we the, were old so you had to change some of the things because you may find that they're using a lot of electricity and that one another thing um my friend told me uh, i went to my friend and she had big candles you know very big like yeah huge and there were like five in the room and i i said oh that and she said yeah it creates more heat you know so they put on the candles, they put off, they put on a few lights in the room and the candle is bringing the light and the warmth. So it's something you can try. I've tried it myself and I think it's cushly, like it's really nice. So you can try it. Uh, also, I wrote here that some, um, yeah, drying clothes. Yes, that one I, uh, can you imagine? I've never, we don't have a, 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 a dryer like a machine no we dry our clothes we just put them we, we just hang them and we dry them and that one also another thing uh, this season actually i had to do was that we don't overwash the clothes and that one is a, a very interesting what do i mean by that here in norway i don't know about other country but here in norway the clothes don't really get that like stains like when i was in in my home country a, the 
the dust there is different so when it's that it's really that with big stains but here the clothes don't get that they don't get the stains so what happens is that the clothes are that because you've been putting on a lot a lot and maybe they have another smell and all that so putting on 90 60 when you've just you had you put on that cloth once or twice no so what we do we put on quick wash because you just want to get out that maybe smell and maybe the sweat from your body so we put on 30 quick wash or 40 instead of putting on 90 that is going to take two hours and we don't use the dryer we hang the clothes in the room in the uh, laundry room in this uh, i don't know what it's even called and we hang them there and they are dry and another thing you can do uh, around that when it comes to that also use less detergents you don't have to use a full cup on everything and maybe you can as well uh let me think i had something i wanted to say um yeah you can as well in the winter because in the winter the electricity is more expensive than in the summer you know why because the water is frozen so producing electricity takes more than in the summer so maybe you don't oh, you some of the clothes if you are lucky that you have en enough clothes you don't have to you can wash more in summer and wash less in winters yes and i hope those tips help you and check your bills try to do different things and another thing i forgot this is no way have on those tap eh? blankets they are nice wool blankets put them on in the living room put on maybe like uh, 15 and then you have the top and dress well some people we are in winter and they are putting on their beautiful summer clothes hello put on sweaters you know it's cold and you put on a summer cloth of course those nylon and polyester and what have you silly of course you're gonna be cold you should be putting on cotton a wool sweaters cardigans because it is winter so that one will help you to save money and you save the environment when you save electricity you are saving money you're saving environment and you use that money to do something you love and your family yes if you have any tips please leave them down so that i'll i read every comment so that i can also learn from you and share and if you find our content uh, useful leave a comment please subscribe and have a lovely week bye